My name is Sarah Taffet. I play softball at Fordham University. I've been playing softball since I was five years old. It's my passion. But on October 3rd, 2021, I was playing a softball game and I hit the ball to first base. As I hit the ball to first base, I was running and I got tagged in the chest. Running back to the dugout, I remember losing all control of my body. Limbs went numb, everything going black, and I went into cardiac arrest. They did two rounds of CPR and used a defibrillator. I remember waking up and I was very confused. I had no idea what was going on. Everyone around me was in so much shock that no one knew how to tell me that my heart stopped. I was at the hospital for two nights. Uh, they couldn't find anything, so they decided to let me go. A few weeks later, I went to see the team cardiologist, Dr. Talani, at New York Presbyterian. When someone has such a dangerous and scary thing, such as sudden cardiac death, the motto really is leave no stone unturned. The first test that we did was something called a stress echocardiogram, where she walked and ran on a treadmill and we watched her carefully. And during that first test, there were some things that were not completely normal. So ultimately, we sent her for something called a coronary angiogram. It's a CAT scan that shows the arteries of the heart. Turns out Sarah has something called ALCAPA, which stands for anomalous left coronary artery coming from the pulmonary artery. Her main artery, the one that provides the most blood to the heart, and in some ways is the most important artery, was actually coming off of her pulmonary artery instead of her aorta. Basically, my heart wasn't getting enough oxygen as it should have for my entire life. Here in our hospital, we have a team who has encountered this and knew exactly what to do. She had surgery a couple days after her admission with no complications. Dr. Talani is amazing. She saved my life. I just honestly am so thankful that I was able to have this surgery at New York Presbyterian. It's been three months since my surgery and I was finally cleared to start playing softball again. I'm so excited and so happy to be able to play my senior season. I genuinely feel like I am the luckiest girl in the world.